In this video, we will show you how to create your design for Shido Studio. First step, open the design template of the desired product in Illustrator and make sure that it is the right size. We are working with an A6 card here and it should measure 14.8 by 10.5 centimeters. This card will be printed on both sides. That's why we have two artboards. If you are only printing on one side, you can of course remove one of them. Next up, we will read the layout instructions right here. So the cutting line is marked in blue and indicates where the card will be cut. The red line here represents the bleed, which is three millimeters more than the cutting line. It is necessary when an element of your design goes near the edge of the card. And finally, some important things to consider when creating your design. First of all, fonts and images must be embedded. Avoid using large masses of colors, as well as colors that are too soft or too pale. Our printing is done at low temperatures, and the colors may not sink in very well. Don't use fonts that are too small or too thin, and try to avoid placing items too close to the edges as they may be cut off. Once you have this information, you can remove it along with the trim line, the bleed line, and your design here. Now it's time to start creating the design of your card. Let's write a text with the typography of our choice. We will also add an illustration And of course, don't forget the logo. Center everything, check the design, and that's pretty much it. Now we need to prepare the design for printing. We start by embedding the logo because we imported it in PNG. So we select the image and we click on Embed. Then it's time to expand the text, so select everything, go to Object and Expand. As you can see, the text remains drawn and we avoid losing the typography. Finally, we check the image. In our case, this illustration was made in Illustrator and it is already embedded to the design. As you can see, I decided to put the illustration near the edge of the card, so you have to remember to add the 3mm bleed in File, Document Setup, Bleed, 3mm, and that's it, the red lines appear. On the back of the card, we will leave the planting instructions, which are very important for the end users to know in order to understand how to give this seed paper a second life. And now that the design is ready, you need to save it in PDF. The last important step is to check that you have saved your design with the cutting lines. Once saved, you can preview and check again that everything is correct. And that's it! If you have any questions, our team will be happy to answer them.